Let me. Deal with this topic of salvation. There is a guy on YouTube eternally saved through Jesus Christ saying that salvation is a gift which is true. But he goes on to say that we don't have to do nothing. No maintaining is required. The first part is true. Salvation is a gift, free gift. But we have to maintain it. If we don't have to maintain it, that means the scriptures is a lie. This, this is the scripture that they love to go and get. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and not and not in debt, not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest, it, lest any man should boast. Not of works. Then it refer back to the old law, what it had to work. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Verse 10, for we are his workmanship, created in Jesus Christ unto good works which God had before a day that we should walk in them works we should walk in them the guys telling people we don't have to maintain anything but then I called him up last night well, yeah, well, then it started changing. Well, yeah, we had to work, yeah, but look, because if we don't work, maintain, if we don't have to maintain work, then why the Bible say we either can turn away or we can err from the faith? We can do both. We can turn away. We can err. Say what the Bible say. I went to Galatians and I seen some other sites where people went to Galatians and showed him. Well, then he well, if Galatians said we can turn like they did, oh foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you that you should turn away from the truth? They turned away from the truth. If they didn't, then Paul wouldn't have to write that letter to them. Well, 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 well let me, they were turning back to the law. They're still, they turned away from Christ. And I asked, them, well, can anybody go to heaven today by living under the law? He finally said, no. Okay, fine. That's it. That means they turned away from Christ. The, the point is, they turned away. You can't twist that. You can't explain that away. They turned away from the truth. Galatians chapter 1 verse 6 I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto uh, another gospel 
which is not in nothing, but there be but there be some that trouble you, and would pervert the gospel of Christ. They were removed. However you want to spin it, however you want to say it, when you try to debunk the scriptures, they fell away. They were falling away. So you're going to tell people they don't have to maintain? That, it, that, 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 that is not what uh, Apostle Paul was telling them. They what Apostle Paul was telling them. Y'all, some of us don't want to look at all the scriptures when it pertains to salvation. No. Works can't save us, but once we confess to become Christians, followers of Christ, then we are expected, expected to work. Ain't no way around it. Galatians chapter 2 verse 16. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. That's talking about the old covenant. See, some a lot a lot of people think when you, when they see the word work, they lump that all in one. Okay, work. That means okay, well, that's all they want to hear. Work. Oh well, you trying to go back on the old covenant. No. 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 That ain't what it is. We are not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Christ that we may be justified by the faith of, of, of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. That's what the Bible says. There's a lot of scriptures concerning work. Uh, let me go to 1 Corinthians. Chapter 15. Verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. How you going to fight these scriptures? Uh, Apostle Paul is talking to brethren, believers, telling them to be steadfast. Can't get around it. We don't have to maintain. That ain't what the Bible say. That's not what the Bible say. Let's go to Titus 2. Every scripture I show to this fellow concerning work, he somehow explained them away.
That's what he did. Explain them away. Titus 1, chapter 16. They profess that they know God, but in works, they deny him. Being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. And unto every good work reprobate. He want to say, well, they're talking about those who try to live under the law. I guess you can probably say that. But still, too, the Bible said, in every good work, reprobate. What that mean? Not willing, not want to work for Christ. Good work. They ain't trying to do no good. Ain't trying to do no good. Everything they do is corrupt. But they claim they know God. Let's go to Matthew 5 and 16. Let's see what it say. Five and sixteen. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Your good works and glorify your Father. Anybody can, can confess to be a child of God. Anybody. But do you have works? Do you have what are your evidence? Do you have anything to prove that you love the Lord? If, if Apostle Paul said that I have fought a good fight, I kept the faith. Therefore, laid up for me a crown of righteousness that the righteous good judge would give on that day. But not unto, but not just me, but for all who love his appearing. What that is saying? I fought a good fight. I kept the faith. He had to maintain, didn't he? Had to maintain. Chapter 1st Timothy, chapter 6. Verse 18, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willingly, willing to communicate, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life, eternal life. You want to say that we not required to maintain? Let's see what John said. James. Let's go to uh, 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 James and see what he said about work and faith. Wow. I know where you at. Just thinking ahead. Let's see what James said about uh, working. A lot of people like them easy verses. Some that make them feel good. Cheap. I'm not saying cheap, but that's all they want to hear. We'll say 
by grace alone. But ain't nobody say, ain't nobody say yet. Salvation ain't came yet. But we are those who believe in Christ are set aside. You are set aside. We are set, set aside until Christ comes. That's why the Bible say we must endure to the end. To whatever end comes first. Jesus Christ come or you pass away. You have endured to the end. James chapter 2 James was addressing this directly and this, and, and, and this person that I was talking to clearly don't doesn't have a problem with calling the fathers and the pre people of the Bible a lie. I seen a video where he called the fathers in the early church. I guess he's talking about, yeah, we're talking about the prophets of old. Called them a lie. Trying to put them at odds with the apostles. Chapter 2, verse 18. Let's go back up to 17. Even so, faith if it has not works, is dead being alone. Verse 18. Yea, a man may say, Thou have faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith with, without thy works, and I will show thee thy, show thee my faith by my works. Verse 19, Thou believe it that there is one God that doeth well. The devil also believe in tremble. <laughs> so, for those who profess to be Christian, yeah, yeah, okay, that ain't enough. Verse 20, But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Faith without works is dead. How you gonna get around those scriptures? The Jesus, our, Jesus said, "Let your light so shine, so men can see your good work." Anybody can claim that they believers in Christ, believe God, and a lot of people go. A lot of people do it, but in deeds and works, what they do, they deny Him. James said. If you see a brother and sister in need, destitute of food, and you just talking about, I'm going to pray for you, and I, and you refuse to feed those people, what you did? You committed a sin. And you refused to help those people. And we see a lot of this. People want to hide behind the Bible, pretend to be Christians. Use the scriptures, but when it comes to works, they ain't they they lacking. Ain't no fruits. They not producing fruits. Then tell people we don't have to maintain. Where you get that foolishness from? In the scriptures, throughout the blue out, we can go on and on and on and, and, and grab scriptures that'll show you that we have to maintain working, labor, laboring in the vineyard. For a righteous reward. Ain't no, I ain't never heard the Bible say anything about, well, you can lose some rewards, but you'll still go to heaven. I ain't never heard that. Not in the scriptures. Jesus said work. 
and uh, when the time comes, whatever righteous he going to pay. Work in the vineyard. Let's go see what Romans. I ain't got a whole lot of time. Let's go see what Romans say. Romans 2. Verse 6, who will render to every man according to his deeds. The Bible says we all must stand and be judged. Judged on what? Our deeds. So if you don't have nothing, no deeds, no works, then where are you going? You're going to hell. I ain't seen nothing to say that you're going to lose some rewards and still go to hell. Uh, 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 Dr. Charles Stanley preached that. The Bible never say that. I didn't refute the fact of what he said about salvation. It's a free gift. Yeah, but you're going to go on and say that we don't have to maintain. That's a lie. Gentlemen ought to say that. Salvation alone, salvation alone. But dang, well, that, that's not true. If that were true, then why is he passing a church? Why is he laboring? The Bible talk, talks about evangelism, right? Laboring in the faith. He passing church, laboring in the faith, and getting a check. Ain't that hypocritical? Y'all deceiving people with that. Well, we don't have to. We don't have to maintain. Yeah, the, the first part I exactly agree. Salvation is a free gift, but. You have to hear the gospel first and accept it. Repent of your sin and be born again. A lot of people don't want to hear that. Well, you see, that's work based. What the Bible say? You must hear the gospel. When the apostles preached on the day of Pentecost, the people heard the gospel in their language. 17 different nations. They all heard the gospel preached. And they were the, the Bible said they were baptized and added to the church. Now you take on the life of Christ. And you have to produce fruits. It's a must. If you claim to be a follower of Christ, it's a must. You have to help. Jesus Christ said, Help. Love your brother. Jesus Christ will ask the question. Master, good master, what which is the greatest commandment? Jesus Christ said, love the, the, the Lord thy God with all your heart. Then he's going to say, love your, your neighbor as yourself. James just said, if you see a brother and sister in death, destitute of food or rape, and you refuse to help them, you commit a sin. So if Jesus said, love your neighbor, how you love? You got to put, you got to do, help the neighbor. Oh, I'm just going to pray for you. That ain't helping nobody. You ain't putting no work in praying. See, tell you the truth, a lot of our lighter skinned brothers and sisters don't want to hear stuff like that because most of them are Republicans. They don't believe in helping nobody. They want to preach the Bible. They want to have behind the scriptures. They want to use this. But then they don't want to look at the other scripture when the Bible talks about helping the poor. Feeding though. They don't want to hear that. Helping your brother. See, they want to, they use them stuff, that stuff. They want to stay there so to give them an opportunity to hide behind racism. 
That's why a lot of them live with that. Live on that salvation, guilt. I ain't got to do nothing else but believe in God. That's all I got to do. Believe in God. I'm saved. But the Bible says if you don't help your, your neighbor, you don't show love to your neighbor, then you ain't representing him. You're a lie. In these, they deny him. That's what Apostle Paul said. Throughout the New Testament, you see works, good works, have called us into a good work. He ain't called you that to sit still and just claim, sit back, well, I'm going to go. Then, then that same guy turn around and say, yeah, 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 we supposed to work. We should work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but you said we don't have to do nothing to maintain. So which is it? Oh, you just grab the scriptures. You just grab. No, I'm just giving you direct scriptures. James said, if you don't have faith, how how more clear, how much clearer can it not get? Can it get than the other way he said? And gave an example. Anybody can say they got faith. The devil believe in God. In trouble. So you just saying you got faith. If you believe in God, that ain't nothing. You got to show them. You should know them by the fruit they bear. I'm just going to tell you the truth. A lot of our lighter skinned brothers and sisters, evangelical Christians, they don't, when the Bible talk, talks about helping your neighbor, being friendly, being giving, they don't want to have nothing to do with that. They dodge all over them scriptures. In politics, they feel like if they give somebody something, that's a sin. That's what they feel like. If you help somebody give something, that's a sin. Well, the Bible, God said help. Jesus said help. Love your neighbor. See about your fellow man. He looking at that. Your deeds. You're going to be judged on your deeds. I ain't right that. It's in the Bible. So how are you going to get around not maintaining? Let us not grow weary in well-doing. Ain't, what, ain't that what Paul told the Galatians? Forsake you not to the assembling of yourself together. Why? Got to maintain. Endure to the end. The race is not given to the swift nor to the strong. All those scriptures throughout the Bible, especially New Testament, talking about working, maintaining, deeds, enduring, endurance, steadfastness, holding out, holding on, walking in the faith, walking in the light. Somehow, that's not connected to maintaining. You out of your league. 